As I'm organizing, one of my big goals is to declutter and I want to be savage about it. No! <laughs> this was an attempt. I'm offended. Well. <laughs> Things that I've hidden away because past me didn't want to deal with it and wanted to make it future Cassie's problem. Well, guess what? It's my problem. Oh, it's snowing. That's called new you and I'm just not sure that's the new you I would want to be. You know that part of cleaning where it looks like you've done more damage than good? I think I'm there. Joy and welcome to my channel. Today is a no makeup day. It's just gone 11 and it is one of the dreariest, grayest days we've had in a long while. Oh, in fact, it's snowing. Great. <laughs> For anybody new here who doesn't know, my overall happiness hinges on how much sun shines throughout the day. And on days like this, especially after a long, cold winter, when we've gotten spoiled by some really lovely spring days, this just feels like agony to me. Yesterday, I allowed myself to wallow in it. I did nothing but write. I have two book projects that I've been working on. One is my chai project. The second is my night sky project. The chai project is the one I worked on yesterday. In fact, I worked on it so long. Had dinner, opened my laptop, said, I'll work on this just for a few hours. I look up at the clock. It's gone midnight, <laughs> which is very past my bedtime. I wondered why I felt so tired, but I got a lot done. So it was totally worth the lack of sleep. But since I allowed myself to just have a cozy inside day doing things I wanted to do, the bargain I made with myself is that today would be a get things done day. For anyone who doesn't know, I've been in the middle of a loft renovation. I can link the playlist to all those videos in the description box for you in case you want to catch up on all the chaos. Basically we ripped up carpet, put down new flooring, moved all of my furniture and shuffled them into new locations. It feels so much better. The light touches every part of the loft now, but everything is everywhere. All of my dishes, all of my books, all of my decor, just everywhere. <laughs> so today's task is to pick a couple different corners of the loft and put it to rights again. But as I'm organizing, one of my big goals is to declutter and I want to be savage about it. The main thing I took away from this renovation process is that I have too many things. I am a maximalist. I love my stuff, particularly when it comes to decor. And I also have a tendency to buy things for eventualities. I start collecting things for those eventualities instead of just minimizing everything to what I need that would go with everything and give me a lot less to tidy and clean. So that's today's video. Organizing, decluttering, and get my loft to feel less like a cluttery mess and more like a sanctuary. I want to walk in here and feel a wash of calm. It's not all going to happen in one day, but we're going to start. Okay, I have you perched in a very precarious spot. I don't know if you'll stay, but we're gonna try. I think I want to start off with an easy win, something I can get done fast and satisfactorily check off. We moved my vanity over to be closer to my bathroom so that my getting ready process is kind of just more seamless. I took out everything in here so that we could move it, but obviously now I need to put it all back. So I think I'm gonna do that. What is this doing here? This doesn't belong here. That needs to go somewhere else. Okay, let's see. Oh, I did put some things in here. I forgot. Mason jars do not go here. And neither do my mugs. I wondered where these got to. <laughs> finally, the drawer I've been living out of, doing all of my makeup things, can finally get put away. So nice. pretty. I got this at a thrift shop in, was it Florida? No, Georgia. Still smells like the perfume that was in it. And it works, but there's no perfume really. It's just kind of the dregs of whatever was left over. This is Waterford Crystal, by the way. And immediately when I saw it, I just felt like I needed to have it in my life. So I keep it in my vanity. At some point, I'd like to buy a really fancy perfume and decanter it into here so I can feel like a princess when I apply it. Until then, it just sits in my vanity and looks pretty. Oh, 
gross. This used to be under my air conditioning unit, so it got very gross. I need to clean it now. Vanity, check. Now I think I'm gonna work over here. This area gets the most foot traffic. This is where I typically hang out. And as you can see, it's pretty discombobulated. All of these dishes were taken out of my china cabinet so that we could move it and do the baseboards and the flooring. But it's back in its place now so I can put these all back where they go. Should be an easy thing. Okay, everything fits in this bigger bin, except for this. I don't know where to put it, and it can't really be used for anything other than winter because of the snow-covered pine needles inside. I'd consider getting rid of it, but I use it every year, and I don't think I'm ready to part ways with it yet. But other than that, task completed. Now I just have to figure out how to put this lid back on. <laughs> I like that this lid has some height to it. It allows for a little more room. All right, one side has clipped. Let's see, can you get the other one? Yay! I told mom to grab the camera because <laughs> this is very comical, me trying to stuff my Christmas tree back into the box, which is falling apart, by the way. And mom has been very helpful by pointing and laughing at me. She's grinning behind <laughs> you gotta find the humor. <laughs> or you'll cry. <laughs> right. So we're trying to figure out <laughs> a way to get this beast tamed. I don't know how it fit before. It grew <laughs> the years, I think. The branches are growing out of the middle of the box. It's not all in. <laughs> it needs a trim. <laughs> Maybe you need to go have it go bye-bye. Just a thought. <laughs> you said it was old and yucky. It is old and yucky, but it's the first Christmas tree I bought myself. This is not how you declutter. <laughs> Why did I invite you up here to help? <laughs> I, di I didn't read the article, but I saw a headline that people struggle with decluttering because they make decisions out of guilt. And here is your first example. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> Man, Mom is savage. Hey, we gotta get this place whipped into shape. <laughs> you want my help? This is what you get. <laughs> I'm crying from laughing so much. I would agree with the tree thing, Mom, except that I don't have another one to replace it with and no money to replace it. Worry about that when the time comes. And then Christmas comes around again and I have no tree. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello loves, it's a little while later. We didn't get as much tidying and organizing done as we would have liked. Time just ran out by the end of it. But I don't mind sharing that because that's a far more realistic view of how these things go. It's not all gonna happen in one day. It's not gonna be a quick, satisfying turnaround. This is gonna take time and it's gonna take hard work and it's gonna have to be squeezed in during small pockets of free time in my schedule. I say that so that anybody out there who feels like they haven't done enough, that doing a little doesn't count, it completely counts. Sometimes you have to do things a little at a time and that's okay. The reason it's so nice to have my mom involved with this is because I tend to just get stuck. Want to start in a corner, but I can't start this thing until I start that thing because that thing applies to this thing, but then oh, I can't start that thing until I deal with those things because those things applies to that thing, which applies to this thing. You know, it just is this spiraling loop that you just can't get unstuck from. That might make no sense to some of you and all the sense in the world to the rest of you. But my mom is really good at not getting stuck in that spiraling loop. So she was able to help me decide on where to start and sort of move forward. I know that I'm gonna have to deal with that bookshelf here in the near future because I have lots of books that I need to find a place for and I don't really have a place for them, at least not right now. And I only have one bookshelf and only room for one bookshelf. So I'm gonna have to get creative on how I organize it. I'm thinking stacking them in different ways, some going this way, some going that way. Might also have to do another book purge, which kills me because I feel like I just did one. That's how it goes when you have a limited amount of space. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get rid of a bunch of books. I'll definitely have to get a little creative on where I store them. Might use them for decoration in some areas of the loft, might reorganize some of my cubbies to become little mini bookshelves. The options are endless. All of these shelves here behind the TV will have to come down because you can't see half of them behind the TV. I find myself wanting to start all of the aesthetic things, all of the decorating, and obviously that's the very last thing you do in a situation like this, which kills me because that part's far more fun. But all I keep telling myself is that that, decorating, will be my reward for all of this other nonsense. I might tack on one more day to this vlog, I'm not sure how much I have, but I hope this gives you a refreshing, realistic look at organizing and getting your life together. It's not aesthetic, it's not seamless and smooth. It's no HGTV show. Oh, that it were, I'd be making so much money. I certainly wouldn't have shown up with no makeup on, but it's just you guys, and we're basically family, so it's fine. All right, I'm gonna leave the vlog here for now, and I will see you on another day. Good morning, loves. It's the next day, and as you can tell by the fluffiness of my hair, it's hairbrush day. Ever since I've been leaning into my curly hair, I've not been brushing it, which is normally fine if I put it in a scrunchie at night. It doesn't get tangled, and then I can just go three days without brushing it, and it doesn't tangle at all. Except that for two nights in a row, I didn't put it in a scrunchie because I completely forgot. The rat's nest that was my hair was appalling, and I spared you all the pained and tortured facial expressions I just made brushing out my hair, but I can see how dry and sort of yuck my my ends are, so I'm gonna be putting some hair oil on. This is just Miel from Amazon. It's a rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. My hairdresser mentioned that my ends are just kind of perpetually dry, and if I want my hair to grow to the length of a Disney princess, I need to get some oil back in my ends. I usually don't do this if I'm going out <laughs> because it kind of looks greasy and that's not the look I like to go for in public, but because I'm gonna stay home and work on more decluttering, I figured I'm gonna have my hair in a scrunchie anyway. Why not? We'll just consider it a little hair treatment. Okay, that looks relatively oily, doesn't it? <laughs> I think. I'm just gonna put it in this massive hair scrunchie. I also kind of think I need a personal vacuum right next to my vanity because of all the hair I shed. I'm gonna do some makeup and then we're gonna get started on today's activities. decluttering of the living room. I decided I needed to declutter this 
This lamp has been so nice, not only because it's adorable, and I changed out the bulb to be color changing, but also because of these shelves. They originally displayed some really cool things, and now they just have become a catch-all. I can't have that. Also, side note, I was at a health store the other day and decided to try a couple different pops. This one's called Poppy. It's a raspberry rose flavored soda, but it's a prebiotic soda. Has probiotics for a healthy gut, is infused with apple cider vinegar, is an immunity sidekick, and all of them have five grams of sugar or less. I knew I'd love the raspberry. The rose, I wasn't sure. I've tried rose chocolate and that was, that was not it. <laughs> but this is delicious. I'm loving it. And I'd never heard of Poppy before, so I thought I'd share it, just in case any of you were interested. They had lots of flavors to choose from, but I'm gonna be sipping on that while I go through this. In fact, let me bring you closer. Can I move you without knocking you over? How much talent do I have? How much faith do you have in me? <laughs> These are the questions I need to know. <laughs> First, I'm gonna start up here. This is my perfume shelf. I really like it because for the longest time I never remembered to use perfume because I'd be halfway out the door and I didn't wanna go back in and grab my perfume. It was just a whole thing. But I found that if I put it right by my bedroom door, as I'm leaving, I would see it and remember, oh yeah, perfume. I have quite a lot. There's a Christmas bobble here, I don't need that. Most of which I don't use. Oh, I'm not even in frame, sorry about that. A lot of them I keep for someday and someday just never seems to happen. I just have them displayed on a little cake stand that I got from TJ Maxx and I'd like to go through these because there are too many. This I'm keeping and I will be buying more in the summer. This is called Brazilian Crush by Sol de Janeiro. This was my summer scent last year. Smells so good. Not really perfume, more like a body spray, but still very good. This I'll also be keeping. This is the perfume I got from Ireland six years ago. I've been very choosy with when I wear it. It's by the Burn Perfumery. It's called Frond, and it smells like an Irish garden. All of the Burn Perfumery scents are taken from flowers that are local to Ireland. This one is definitely more floral than their other scents, and I just love it. You know what a scent transports you? back in time to a specific spot, to a specific place, and it just unlocks those memories. This perfume does that for me every time. Another one that I'll be keeping and probably buy new when I can save up to afford to is the Glossier, Glossier, how do you say it? Perfume, it's their signature scent. It's called Glossier U. It's just very light, but also very feminine and not in a floral way, in a really sexy way. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this. This I might gift to my brother. It's a guy's cologne. I smelled it in the store and thought I really liked it. In the store, it didn't smell like a guy's scent. It smelled sort of unisex, but it smells a little more male than I would like now. I bought this quite a while ago, so I'll probably just gift it to my brother. I've probably used it twice. It's pretty much full. He doesn't watch these videos. He doesn't need to know. <laughs> these are all my Zoella perfumes. This is Blissful Mistful, Cosmos, and Snowella. I never gravitate toward these. But they're just not really me. Those can go. I have these Dime Beauty sample scents that do smell really good. Yeah, those can stay. I made a custom perfume by Waft where you get these little sample ones. And the point is you can get samples and then whichever one you like best, you can go in and buy a full size bottle of. The one I really like, I can't find because I probably dumped it in a purse and never took it out. And I just don't like fresh scents. It's just not my favorite. If it smells like a clear spring day, I'm out. I don't like it. If it smells like a floral fresh spring day, then I'm in. I'm very picky. I don't know, that's called new you, and I'm just not sure that's the new you I would wanna be. So I think that can go. All right, we have severely decluttered my perfume. I love that. I can put these back up here. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm just gonna go through the rest of these shelves and probably put you on a time lapse because I think the rest of these will be pretty boring. wanted to see if by some miracle this little telephone box, well I say little, it's not really little, would fit in the bottom shelf. I love it. I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't really have any place to display it that 
doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, but I thought here it would be a little bit more discreet. Oh, please fit. Oh, oh no, it's just too tall. No, <laughs> I was so hoping this would fit. Oh man, that's a disappointment. Could leave it there. But that looks a little odd. Shoot, I thought that would work. Oh well, so much for that thought. <laughs> okay, moving on. Since I'm focusing all of my attention on just the living room, I've decided that it's time to tackle something I've been putting off for a very long time. Stuff that I've hidden away and don't film on camera. All these little cubbies from my coffee table are full. And I don't even know what they contain. Nothing, no idea. On top of that, I have stuff inside my coffee table, which I also don't know what's in there. Probably things that I've hidden away because past me didn't want to deal with it and wanted to make it future Cassie's problem. Well, guess what? It's my problem. We're gonna go through all this, stack it all on top, and deal with it. Anytime I just want to cry because I don't want to deal with something, all I can think about is the quote that goes, I was made to do hard things. I know the quote is supposed to be about really hard things. This does not apply. But to me, to me it applies. This is a hard thing. I'm gonna try to get through. Ah! See if I can declutter some of it. You know that part of cleaning where it looks like you've done more damage than good? I think I'm there. I know I've done a lot. I cleared out my whole coffee table and I now have piles of things and I just need to deal with the piles but the piles feel very overwhelming. Part of me is very tempted to just call it a night and say good job the coffee table's empty and deal with this tomorrow. <laughs> I hate leaving a video unresolved like that though because I feel like that's really unsatisfying to you guys watching. But that's life though, you don't always get a project done within a timely manner, it just doesn't always happen. You celebrate your wins, you do the progress you can, and you tackle it as you can. Sorry if that was very unsatisfying. This was an attempt, I didn't know if I'd get it done. Obviously I didn't. I have a big to donate pile. All of that stuff over there, that's donate. Things are leaving the loft which is the important bit, that's what I was hoping for. And the rest is just a matter of organizing and putting in their proper places, many of which I can't reach at the moment, which makes my job that much harder. But we're getting there. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me every single week. It means the world. So glad this is motivating for you and inspiring you to tackle your own spaces. It's so exciting to know that we're doing this together. And honestly, I just love commiserating with you in the comments. It brings me a particular kind of joy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays, both at 6 a.m. and sometimes on Mondays. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye. You will be dealt with soon.